We are back in Auckland, this time for Craig's birthday. Sunny weather is on the forecast. We checked in, we dropped our bags off, and now we've taken to the streets to explore, see what we can find. We happened upon K Street, we're just gonna walk up and down, and it's interesting so far. Lots of cool little pubs, yeah. restaurants, nice vibe. We have come to Coco's Cantina for a few drinks. It looks so cool, it's nice and vibey, it's colorful. Happy hours, I got a glass of Prosecco. Now I got in the clouds, far north, chili pilsner. I love this brewery. If you're looking for so a vibe cool. and colorful people, <laughs> this is the place to come to. Yeah, very cool. On to the next place. Lots and lots of hens parties. Sure. So now that it's not raining, we are actually getting a clearer picture of the layout of Auckland City. We're getting more oriented. We were just in K Road. And, and we just found Ponsonby Road, which we were here for Chantal's birthday. And it felt so far driving on the buses the last time we were here. So we are in Ponsonby Road and it's actually the Rainbow Pride Parade. We didn't even know. We're going to go check the vibe out. The whole Ponsonby Road is closed because of this parade. The vibe is just insane. It is so cool. There's so many people all around. The restaurants are full. We popped into a place called Mexico for some Mexican food. And I have my margarita, lime and mango. It's very refreshing because it's quite humid today. Panhead Supercharger API. Our pork belly tacos have arrived. The food at Mexico was amazing, but we heard the parade starting outside in the road, so we paid the bill and we ran out, and it's so cool. So vibey, so many people. So vibey, so colourful. And everyone's just happy. And having a good time. After everything that New Zealand has been through the last like few weeks, yeah. it's so nice yeah. to see people out and about and just enjoying themselves. And the weather is good. <laughs> this is so cool. So cool! We decided to walk back through K Road, back to our hotel, yeah. and my goodness, is what it vibing. Vibe. So many people out and about, every restaurant is full of people, it's amazing. Very cool. But I feel like something sweet, but I don't know if that kind of place is open at this time of the night. <laughs> we walked past a Turkish place and the baklava called Craig's Eye. We just had to come in, they have chocolate baklava, I've never had that before. And I'm having a uh, nice tiger beer which we had in Thailand. Now I'm getting so hot, it's so humid. I'm just having ice cold coke. I ordered a chicken kebab, which is like a pita wrap um, chicken with a yogurt, garlic yogurt sauce. The Pretty food fun. looks amazing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely time to leave K Road. We saw a few questionable characters <laughs> and we just avoided eye contact. Especially the um, guy who was standing in front of the bus. Yeah, he, no. he just refused to move, but the police came and took him away. That yeah. was quite cool. Lots of police around. <laughs> I think it's people are having way too much to drink and it's time for us to leave the party. The streets are alive and there's people everywhere and it's just amazing but we still have two more days in the city oh wait it's only and day one <laughs> it's, yeah so we're going to bed yeah and we'll see you in the morning we had a nice sleep in now i'm going for a walk to get some coffee there's a hotel behind me there's some cool coffee spots around here so i'm gonna go find one 
Let's go. Unfortunately, the few coffee shops that I went to were closed, but I'm gonna get some coffee from my hotel. But it was a good walk around. The weather is perfect today. So the hotel coffee turned out to be actually quite nice. We're in the streets, we're gonna to walk towards the viaduct and try and find some yummy pastries or something like that along the way. The sun is out, it's warm. Phew. Stunning. So we're just exploring the side streets off of Queen Street and we came here to a place called Le Chef. I just got the last chocolate croissant. That was so cool. We love finding little places like that. In our previous Auckland video, we went to Harbour Eats, which was just behind me. We just saw a tram and we hopped on. It's two dollars for an adult. We don't really know where it's going. <laughs> it's the wine of loop, it says. So probably just do a loop. Right, I did say this tram was Australian built and for a 96 year old tram, I think she does extremely well. Thank you. That was pretty cool. Nice little old school tram ride around the wharf. So it costs you $2 and you can use your tickets the whole day. You can hop on, hop off. And I think it was built in 1923, she said. So it's like 90 something years old. We are just loving walking through the city and coming across things that we didn't even know existed, like the parade last night yeah. and now this tram. Our friends from Durban is actually coming in from the city now. They moved to Browns Bay. The North Shores of Just before we came to New Zealand, so we're going to meet up with them. If you've been around the channel for a while, you will recognize them. Here they are! <laughs> You're in the vlog! We done at the George and now we're going to find a place for lunch. We found another little food market. Thank well, you to our guys, Dave. Thanks to, thanks to Durban Dave. <laughs> Still rocking the Durban local Durban hat. Local. <laughs> Durban local. The Durban local. The Durban local. The Durban local. The Durban local is showing us what to do in Auckland now. So. <laughs> Very worldly. <laughs> We just had lunch at the fish market, but there's lots of different places that you can get food from and a common area. We can music. sit down, live music. <laughs> it was really nice. Just said bye to our friends and now we... I don't know what we're going to do now. <laughs> we're back in the same street that we were for breakfast and coffee this morning. The little side lane. Because when we were here we found, or we did see these cool little pubs on this, in this alleyway. So we actually want to go try it out. So we're sitting at Vulture's Lane. Vulcan Street was so cool with the little restaurants and the pubs. So we just come up the street to Freiburg place and there's these cool colorful stairs and the building we want to move to one day. So. <laughs> We 
we decided to try find a hotel without using maps. We got pretty close, a few hundred meters away, but we had to resort to the maps because we got a bit lost. So we are staying at the Grand Millennium. It feels a bit corporate, but the location is perfect. We are like in the middle of Auckland, close walking distance to everything. We're on the second floor in this hotel, so not really much of a view. The location is, and also there's quite a vibe at this hotel with, there, there's a bar. Yeah. You have to try it. That is okay. over, over here. And a beautiful lobby. And then the rooms are all around. Okay, it's not clean. <laughs> you have bathroom here, the wet shower, basically bed, workstation, big TV, couch. <laughs> this is the view. And me. And you, and the windows can't open, but there is temperature control over here. This is coming right down. <laughs> I'm getting so hot. And that's it. Time to race. We are so happy that this hotel has an indoor pool. We've been walking around outside in the heat all day and it's just so refreshing dipping in the pool. It's right next to the fitness center. So there's a gym as well. It's on the fourth floor and there's towels here as well. There's a sitting area outside too, which we want to go check out with nice city views. That swim was just what the doctor ordered. We went back to our room, got changed, and now we're going out to find some dinner. jump on the bus to go down Queen Street because we have walked a lot today. <laughs> We're back at Harvey Eats. We couldn't come to Auckland City and not pop in here. Yep, we almost caught it a night and just chilled at a hotel but we are here in Auckland so we thought let's go out and <laughs> do something. We found a place selling pasta and you can choose your topping and then you choose the top of pasta. I went with the macaroni and then you choose what kind of cheese you want and it comes in this cute box and it's really good it's also a lot quieter than last time but it is a sunday afternoon and the weather outside is so beautiful i think people are just sitting outdoors <laughs> that pasta was so delicious and so filling and hearty as well now i feel like something sweet it's 10 past 8 it's a Sunday afternoon, so not too many people, but still enough to make it a bit vibey. We got a Mc we got a McFlurry to share, and that was the longest we've ever waited at a McDonald's. To be fair, they're really busy, but McFlurry and City Lights. We're just sitting on a bench in the square in Queen Street. And it's so cool, people watching, eating our ice cream, watching cars go by, all the lights coming on in the city, the last bit of blue sky. Very cool. It's really cool. Love the city lights are very cool. We just had to walk one more time through the city at night. We just love it almost at our hotel and we'll see you again in the morning and just like that it's our last day in Auckland we packed up and we're about to check out it's actually Monday today the nice thing with Craig's work is that he gets a day off for his birthday Stoked. <laughs> <laughs> so the parking machine is not working and it's a bit of a mission to pay they're actually gonna give me free parking which is nice free parking for the win We are on our way home and we decided to come to one last spot. It's here underneath Harbour Bridge. It's called Boy Cafe and Eatery. And Craig's been dying to bring me here <laughs> because it's got a beautiful view of the Harbour Bridge. Awesome boardwalk that goes around here. I'd love to come run here one day. But let's coffee go. Coffee time! Coffee time! <laughs>
With such beautiful weather, we just have to sit outside and behind me is views of the marina and you can also see the sky tower and then the views behind Craig is the Harbour Bridge. I want to run from the city all the way on the boardwalk, all the way to here and up and back next time. Next time? Yeah. <laughs> Flat whites arrived and they are huge. So what is the largest obviously? So creamy. That's good. Uh -huh. This brings us to the end of yet another video. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> the tripod just took a dip <laughs> in my prosecco. <laughs> Pretty cool to find on the birthday, I'm just Get on my shots.